Endomag is a medical device company focused on improving the standard of care for breast cancer. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime, but only 50% of those patients will achieve uh, the best standard of care. What Endomag is set up to do is to apply some new technologies to making the best standard of care available to everyone everywhere that we can. The story of the creation of the Centimag probe comes from our observing a, a real clinical need and we thought that we had a way to do that using magnetics rather than radiation. The idea behind the Centimag uh, system is that uh, we inject magnetic particles into the breast, then we trace the way that those particles move through the breast into sentinel lymph nodes in the armpit area. The thing that really makes it stand out is the tremendously small signal you're seeing against a very large background. And we're talking about signals that are perhaps 10 million times smaller than the background. And being able to pull those signals out is very, very demanding. And at the same time, making a probe that's actually small enough for the surgeon to conveniently use and also can be used without having to be in a screened room or anything special. It can just be used directly in the operating theater. It was necessary to bring different expertise, expertise in engineering, a clinical, regulatory, and even device development expertise, and leverage that with the in-house knowledge, and also by forming partnerships to develop this technology. At the end, the technology offered significant improvement over the existing practices, had significantly reduced cost, and, and improve accessibility to sentinel lymph node biopsy procedure to hospitals and communities that do not have access to nuclear medicine facilities. On the commercial side, we've been successful in establishing a distribution partnership in Europe that has meant that we've now treated 5,000 patients who wouldn't have received it otherwise. We're really pleased to be uh, manufacturing almost exclusively in the UK. Even if the, the raw material is manufactured abroad, it's formulated and packaged here in the UK. Having a local supply chain, not only in terms of development of those, or manufacturing of those products, but also utilize local relationships for continued R&D. We're on our way to get there. We're already into the thousands of people having been operated on. It'll be tens of thousands, it'll be hundreds of thousands, and it'll be millions.